Look, both Alan and Joel are talented, talented players. That's why they've ultimately been given their opportunity to move to Morocco and Algeria, respectively. And there's no doubt we'll miss them. But equally, as they move on, it gives opportunity to other boys. And I think you've got to remember the purpose that the Chan tournament was created. Yes, we want to go and get to the knockout stages, to get to the finals. As a team, we want to be successful. But the purpose of Chan was to give home base players a platform to show their, showcase their skills to a global audience in the potential of maybe getting that next move into the professional game. Now, for Alan and Joel, They've both been given that opportunity without the need for Chan. And so it opens the door for other players to step in. We've got a lot of talented players here in Uganda. I've said that before. You looked at how we rotated the team in Sakafa. So we know the guys on our, on our bench are ready to step in and play. And, you know, yes, there is not another Al Nocello in the league. There's not another Joel Madondo. But equally, there are other players with other skills who are ready to step in and take their chance. Well, uh... You have Rwanda in the Chanibu. You have Rwanda in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. What's your plan against Rwanda? It's almost as though fate has conspired to say, not just Uganda, but myself, is to be reacquainted with Rwanda at every opportunity. Um, look, there's no team, there's no team in Africa I probably know better than Rwanda. A lot of those boys, whether it's in their World Cup team or their Chan team, a large number of those boys not only played for me, but were maybe given their debuts by me and my staff during my two years in Kigali. And so we know them well. Um, there's some old friendships, but for 90 minutes, they'll be rivals. And we go there and we believe we have what it takes to collect maximum points in that game. But it's all about performance on the day because Rwanda will come into that game as well, a derby game, and they'll look at it and go, you know, let's start well let's take points in the first game so we've got to be prepared for that but i believe we have enough quality not just to pick up points against rwanda but to be pick up points in against togo against morocco and that's got to be our mindset we're going there to perform at our best we're going there to qualify out of the groups for the first time and if we can make it into the quarterfinals then the tournament really does open up and who knows how far we could go you're going to 